Hello everybody, I'm back. As some of you may have already seen by the title, I'm back with a Zara haul, my first Zara haul of 2022. The Zara sale is coming to an end and some good bits have started to roll in and I got a little bit excited. For those of you that may have just stumbled across this video and your recommendations, hello, I'm Susie. I make fashion videos here on YouTube. I upload on Mondays and Thursdays. If you wanna subscribe and join me, that would be great. It's free, the button's down there somewhere. I believe. So I'm going to crack on, but like I said, all sizing information, links to everything, they will be in the info box below. You can shop everything from there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I know I'm going to enjoy it. So first up, I'm going to show you. I know, I know. We're about to come in spring, but I couldn't resist this coat. This coat is incredible. Is it in that fabric that Zara do that I'm pretty sure picks up every bit of fluff? Yes. But does it have structured shoulders of my dreams? Also, yes. Is it ridiculously long to the point where I can't walk downstairs without it getting dirty? No, it is the perfect coat. It's really smart. I got it in a size extra small. I've taken the tag out already. You can tell I love it. So I'm not sure of the pricing off the top of my head, but it is absolutely delicious. It is in a really dark black dye, which I actually have two black coats, diff very different styles really. And they're both leaning more towards the black blue dye i think just because of the type of dye that's been used but this one is perfect i've been finding that i don't have like a black like jet black coat that goes with a lot of my outfits especially more nighttime ones or smarter outfits so this is exactly what i've needed it's really smart it almost reminds me of like a military style coat it's like double breasted it's got pockets i'm not sure if they're the real deal i need to investigate and no tie waist so really really smart which is very different to my other couple of black coats that i have so i'll show you what this one looks like on now so this is the coat i thought i would show it to you quickly whilst i have my leather trousers a little cute like evening top on i think that it works so perfectly especially i think it will look really great in the day and you can really dress it down and it will look really cool but i think especially as more of an evening jacket i've had a lot of jackets and coats that are great for daytime but actually not so many that are super like eveningy and this is going to be like a night out coat or it's like a great day tonight one I'm five foot two so factor that in when you're making your purchases but it's such a great length for me the fact that i am shorter yeah i love the coat i love the coat let me know what you think do you hate it or rate it because again, I feel like it's going to be one of those, like you either really are like die hard in love with it or you're just not into it. I personally love it. Okay, let's get into some boxes. So continuing my hunt to find a gorgeous blazer that is not a black colour for spring. I saw this one in the new in section and it's just a single button blazer. It's in like a greeny grey colour. Will it look cute? Who knows? I really struggle with blazers. If you are new here and you haven't been on the journey with me, I just really struggle shopping for blazers. I'm very specific about what I like, but this one seems to be in the same style that my black one that I have is in, which is amazing. So hopefully the fit will be the same. And I like the color. I think it will look really great. Like even worn casually with like a hoodie underneath and like black leggings, chunky trainers, but will also look cute with like a pair of skinny black jeans and a killer like pointed boot. So yeah, we're gonna see what that one looks like on. It's a size extra small, which I believe is a little bit smaller than I'd normally go for. But recently with Zara, I've been really struggling with the sizing and everything just seems to be way, way too oversized for me. So I size down. Oh, I think we could have a winner here. We finally might have found the one what do we think i think the fit is so much better than any of the others i've tried quality feels better as well it's basically my black blazer but in like this kind of off gray i really like it i just paired it with an e-crew body underneath i remember i in skinnies my top shop boots i probably would normally do all black underneath this but i just had this on and i felt like it was a good base for the blazer so i just kind of threw it on yeah i like it i'm going to try it with a flat maybe like a boot and see how I feel about it because this needs to work with like flats and casual down in order to be like the one. Okay, I like this. I think it looks good when I'm in flats as well. So this is promising. Let me know. Hey, it or rate it. I kind of rate it. Oh my God, this, I was waiting. I'm scared to actually touch this given what I'm currently wearing. I really don't want fluff everywhere. Please don't get fluff on me. Yeah, it's probably gonna get fluff on me. Damn. But this top is so cute. It's been out of stock 
for a little while it's this lovely fluffy jumper and it has like an open back and i just thought that'd be so cute for spring with like blue jeans it would be so cute but also with like a pair of smarter black trousers you can really dress it up or down and i love a light colored jumper especially as we go from winter into spring it's like the perfect transitional item because it's going to keep you warm but the color lends itself better to spring summer okay so the fluffy top don't love i actually think they might have used a few sizes up on the model on the website this is why you can't trust if they say a model's wearing a size whatever i never take it at face value I'm pretty sure it was way more like roomy and baggy so this doesn't meet my expectations at all it's also really hard to tie a bow at the back but yeah i don't feel great in this it's a little bit too cropped i've actually left it fairly loose and it's still just not giving what i wanted it to give and it's quite tight on the arms as well. I was just expecting it to have a little bit more movement to it. And then I picked up a body. If you are newer here, I'm a big, big fan of like basics. Over the past year, I really started to invest more heavily in just basic items in my wardrobe. And when I say invest, I don't mean like buying really spenny versions. I just literally mean like really taking a lot of considerations for the basics that I have in my wardrobe. Is there anything I'm missing? Which basics am I wearing the most of? Okay, buy more of those so that I always have them on rotation. So even if one's in the wash, I've got another one. I basically live in black or white bodies and like blue jeans or leather trousers. That is like the core staples of my wardrobe. And then I build everything around that. And it has changed, it has been an absolute game changer. It has changed the way I dress. So I'm a big fan of basics and I like trying new basics as well. I saw they were doing these bodies that are more of a V-neck. <laughs> <laughs> and although I'm not the biggest fan of a v-neck always I thought that this v-neck shape could look really cute with chunkier jewelry to kind of like really accentuate that neckline however is it going to be incredibly thin I think so it's almost like their t-shirt material which is quite renowned for being thin but I got this in a size extra small it's 15.99 I think of course it looks cute because this with blue jeans would be gorgeous okay so this is the v-neck body i do really like it it is see-through air however it's nothing that my strapless plunge bra can't work with and other than that in terms of the fit love it it's very fitted there's not too much excess material yeah i think it's cute it's not blowing me away but it's cute what do we think should i keep it or return it i also picked up this oh my god some of you guys are going to love this this really reminds me of a top that i had that was also from zara back in 2012 i believe it's not as cropped at first i thought it was cropped because they kind of styled it up a bit weirdly on the model and i got really excited but actually i don't need the crop i really don't need the crop but this is a gorgeous really lightweight little stripy top and i thought this could look really cute with again blue jeans black mom jeans black straight leg jeans leather trousers skirts like the whole shebang this would just be really cute i got a size small it was 17.99 what do we think so do i still suit a stripe okay so this is the stripey tee i really like it i really really like it i think it's very cute it's fitted but it's not too fitted it's got a really like relaxed vibe to it i like it what do you think i know some people just really don't love stripes they had their moment a few years ago but i've been seeing them more and more and i don't know i'm a sucker for a stripe i just think they're really really cute i think it's nice like wearing them with a straight leg jean as well it just feels very different to the way that I would have worn a stripy jumper or stripy long sleeve t-shirt in the past. I would have always worn it with like skinny jeans or like a black skirt and like boots, like the classic old way of doing it in like 2012. But yeah, I like it with the straight leg jeans. I think it just adds a little bit of something different. It feels a little bit more current. But yeah, let me know what you think. Next up, I saw this pair of jeans, which I thought looked really cute. They're like a blue straight leg. I really like the blue tone of them. It's very like, springy and i've really been enjoying wearing my zara jeans that are mom jeans they're in like a lighter blue than this i've really been enjoying wearing them like unrolled so it's more of a straight leg i really liked this color and these are actually like meant to be straight legged they don't have a raw hem though so they could be a bit too long i'm not sure i'm gonna give them a go if i really loved them i could either raw hem them myself which i would be a bit scared to do because my skills are not the best or i could wear them on an evening basis with a heel I'm not sure but we're gonna give it a go and see it's got this little patch on the back i really like it when they do a brown patch on the back so my favorite zara jeans have a white one it just doesn't look as good and the label on this says they're a high rise straight fit so hopefully they'll be nice and high waisted hopefully they'll make my bum look good we will see so these are the straight leg jeans i do like them they fit well they are a little bit long so yeah i'm not really 100 like do i 
keep them and then cut the bottoms or do I just send them back? I'm not sure. They are a fair bit too long so I'd have to wear like my highest heels if I was not alter them and that's not really the life I feel like they deserve because that would be every once in a blue moon that that would actually happen. Yeah, other than that, they fit really nicely, I think, anyway. Let me know what you guys think. I know it's a little bit hard to tell when they are being styled with the weirdest crop top in the world, but yeah, I like them. They fit nicely kind of around my waist and aside from the leg length, they are really cute. So let me know what you think. And then we have a skirt. I always find skirts a bit hit and miss. We're going to give this a go, but this could be a no-go for me. It's a leather wrap style skirt. It looked really really nice on the website and I think with a black body and like a pair of heels in the evening this would be really lovely and even during the day with like a white shirt could also still be really nice and like tights and boots or something like that. This could be a really great addition into my wardrobe however what I do find with leather skirts is they tend to slip and move around and I don't know how much that's going to bug me so I'm going to give it a go. We'll see. really been enjoying wearing skirts more than ever I would say over the last six months so that was what led me to take the plunge with this one. Okay, so this is the leather look skirt. Really like it. I really, really like it. I love the way it is slightly smaller at the waist. So it fits my figure very, very well. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, I love this. I love the fit. I would definitely wear a tiny weeny pair of like black boxer shorts underneath this just for extra added safety because it is a little bit short. I also think this look would be complete with like a nice long black coat thrown over the top but yeah i started with a black high neck knit because i just feel like there's a lot of leg going on and this top is my go-to for when there's a lot of leg going on because it really like counteracts that so yeah actually really like this shall i keep it because i kind of thought this would be one of those ones that i'd order much like many skirts i've owned just wouldn't be right but actually it's really nice what do we think? Let me know. I also ordered these boots thinking that they would look really cute with like dresses or skirts or anything like that in the spring. But looking at them up close, I don't like them. I don't know. I'll try them on anyway. I'll start them up. I'll see. Maybe I'll fall in love with them when they're on. But just up close, like the stitching is not good. Yeah, maybe if I like the look of them, I will try and hunt down a pair that look a little bit better quality up close but i thought they would be really really cute with like dresses skirts all of that kind of thing because they're like a nude tone i felt like they would help elongate my leg whereas like a black pair of boots always like at this point really cuts off my leg however i'm not sure they're going to do the most for my skin tone so we'll see so these are the biker boots it's very rare that i ever find a really 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 bad pair of boots from zara but these are it even the way the material is around the leg of the boot it's just almost like cardboard. It's not comfortable to walk in at all. I would highly not recommend these. It also doesn't have a pulley bit at the top of the boot. It is actually lower down. So how I'm ever getting these boots off, I don't know, which is really sad because I obviously don't like them. But as you can see, I've just styled them up with a pair of blue mom jeans from Zara and then my e-crew coat that kind of goes with it. It's probably all gonna look really nice and white on camera, but it's looking a little bit like off right now. Then. This could be a bit hit or miss. I threw this into my basket. I was ordering some bits anyway, so I thought I would try it on. I haven't seen this in my local Zara, so I'll have to give it a try, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be too business on me. I don't feel like I always get away with stuff like this, but I wanted to see what it was like with like a pair of cute black boots, black skinnies, or like leather look leggings, just like a plain black top underneath. I wanted to see if this would be a good addition to my wardrobe in terms of like elevating my basics. I got it in a size small and i'm hoping that will be okay i wasn't sure whether to go for a medium and have a little more room to it and a little bit more oversized but a lot of the times are i just make things so oversized at the moment all the time anyway and i didn't want to go too overboard okay this is really cute and the quality feels amazing i don't feel like it's for me right now i feel like this is my style in like five to 10 years time i think i jumped the gun a little bit the quality is amazing though and i feel like this is a real gem of zara's current season but i feel like it's just a little bit too smart and like business for me right now if i worked in an office though i would rinse this this is just so cute but for now i've just paired it with a e-crew body underneath and then i've got my river island skinny jeans on and then my top shop little boots and yeah i love the overall look i just feel like it's a little just a tad more mature on my style right now but it is so cute. i just love 
the black and white tweed. It is incredible. I feel like this is going to be one of those pieces that I regret not keeping. But let me know what you think. Do you love this? I'm interested to see how everyone feels. Because I, like, you guys can see me. I can't see you. And I would love to know what all of your personal styles are like. And whether you love something and pick it up. So, like, let me know. We're all so different. So, I'm just really intrigued. But, yeah, I just think this is so cute. So, update. I have just stared at it in a mirror for, like, five minutes. And I think I might keep it. Okay, so the item that sparked all of this and I'm slightly pissed off about is this body. I already have one of these from Zara and I love it. I love it so much. I wear it all the time. Annoyingly, because it is white, it does get dirty very quickly and I was like do you know what one of these days I'm gonna get like tomato sauce or something on this top and I'm gonna be really sad so I'm just gonna buy a backup this is not the same color this is like an off-white and the other one is like white I hate it when Zara do this I mean a lot of my life is on camera and it looks fine on camera but it's just annoying that in real life this is not white okay so the e crew body I swear it is slightly more see-through than the original one that I bought back in October and obviously the colour is slightly different. The sizing I also would say like it feels like it's got a little bit more room to it than my other one but it's nothing that I can't shrink in the wash. But overall I feel like it's okay. Like maybe I really won't notice the fact that the shade is like 0.5 slightly different once I've worn it and washed it a little bit maybe it'll be fine. To be honest it is what it is and I just really needed another light coloured body so I'm going to take it but I really hate it when the high street does this where you buy something and it's great and then you buy it again and it's like this is not the same. More of the story you should always just buy two of everything but then I end up with two of everything. I also got the shirt which I kind of just threw in because I was like oh yeah cute and now I'm looking at it I'm like this this is so cute it's like a long shirt i want to know what this material is it feels really soft i got it in a size small 27.99 what are you made out of 100 percent modal i'm gonna have to look up what that is because i've actually never seen that before but oh my god this is the most gorgeous neutral it's like a grayish a warm gray beige it's really beautiful i really like this color this is one of the colors that i feel like looks really good on me there's a lot of grayish out there that doesn't look good on me but this is one of those tones where i think because it's a bit warmer it looks cute the shirt is so cute i mean the only thing i'm having an issue with is the fact that the collar is not like actually really sitting very well but i think it's nothing you can't like iron out or steam out but i love it i have just tucked it in to my skinny jeans to kind of see like how it tucks and like the length when you tuck it because I haven't done a very good job these side bits need to go in <laughs> because the back is actually much longer than the front it's very very long but i do really like it like this give a little bit of variation but i think in summer tucked into like white shorts this will be so cute i think it would be really nice as well maybe tucked into blue jeans or even left like hanging loose with a pair of blue mom jeans and trainers could be like a really nice relaxed outfit it is so lovely it feels so soft like i can't stop stroking my own arm i think it will add a lot of value to my wardrobe like i will get wear out of this throughout every season so yeah i think it's gonna be great but definitely is going to come into its own spring summer when i start wearing like white jeans for example oh my god this is going to bang with white jeans white shorts white skirt like anything white this is just going to pair beautifully with then i also have a little pair of shorts a pair of little brown leather shorts these are like a bermuda style which i don't always find the most flattering give me the option of a tie waist like just literally do me a tie that someone can remove if they want. It just gives you a bit more wiggle room to have like the perfect fit around your waist if you've got the option for a tie waist. I ordered this twice in the small and the extra small. I always do that if I'm just not sure on sizing because it just saves me having to like send back and then reorder it in another size. But actually it's out of stock and then I'm just sad. So I got it in the small and extra small. I'll let you know which one fits better. Okay guys, any thoughts? I kind of love it, I kind of don't, I'm not, really not sure. I really didn't feel like tights will work with this look. I don't know, I was apprehensive enough about mixing too much black and brown, but actually I tried a cream top with this, given it was a knit and it was kind of oversized, but it just really didn't work. So I've gone for this black one, it's really old, I've had it from ASOS for years. It's nice and fitted and I think that works nicely with this style of short because they are obviously a fair bit baggier. I've then paired it with my Fendi biker boots and then gone for a little brown and tan bag, which I think works really nicely. Like as soon as I got the whole outfit together, I was like, yeah. But up until then I was like, no, I'm not sure I like these. It hasn't helped that I haven't fake tanned in the longest time. So yeah, it's probably not helping how I feel about it. I'd just like to add to my statement that maybe these shorts are going out shorts. 
because I feel like they look kind of cute with a heel. Let me know. Now that we've seen them <laughs> with a pair of heels, what do we think? And then have another pair of jeans. These are the raw hem pair of jeans, but these are more of a, like a wide leg, I would say. Oh, that's exactly what it says on the back. Wide leg. I really like a wide leg jean. It's making a return and I personally always found them the most flattering when I was young. I love a skinny jean, but I remember, I have something in my eye, please hold. We'll get back to this story time ASAP. But I remember I was about 14, 13, 14, when skinny jeans started to like creep in. And I loved my bootleg jeans and my wide leg jeans because I had hips in the 90s and the 2000s. And as a teenage girl, that was the worst time of my life to be curvy, which now was like great how we have these body trends is just beyond ridiculous to me i remember being so sad to leave my bootleg jeans and have to wear a skinny jean obviously i didn't have to but i was a teenager i had to wear the skinny jeans i had to wear what everyone else was wearing and i just remember thinking god these are not flattering and obviously on other people they look very flattering but they did not look flattering on me and i've kind of been biding my time and waiting for the day when my wide leg jeans came back in because i do find they just do look kind of a bit more flattering on me. Even a straight leg, one of you in the comments last spring said, do you know what, I think you really benefit from trying out a straight jean instead of a mom jean, and it was a game changer for me. I love them. For me, as long as I have a good like waist cinch, as long as they fit well on my waist, I love them. I think these would look really cute just with chunky trainers on a day-to-day -day basis, but like I said with the other jeans, you can really like style them up in the evening and wear them with heels. And I love the fact that they are a raw hem because I will just, I know they're going to be ridiculously long to start off with and I'm just going to trim the bottom of them. They'll look really cute with just like a basic body or a crop top going into summer and I'll feel very like skater girl. Oh my god, I love these jeans. I, I mean they are, they need cutting. They are way, way too long. Like even if I stand on my tiptoes, they're still fully on the floor. I think these will look amazing with a pair of heels but I think with the blue pair I would definitely still cut them to fit more with like flats like maybe leave a little bit of extra length on them so that I'd have to wear them with like a chunky sole trainer but I could also wear them with like maybe a kitten heel kind of like sandal or something if I wanted to be like dressy but not too dressy but I think if the darker pair also looked great I would probably cut those to more of a like with heels length but they just fit so well they like fit like a glove around my hips and waist. I'm obsessed, like I actually, I love the fit of these. Let me know what you think. Do we like a wide leg? I personally really enjoy a wide leg, but I'd love to know what everyone else's thoughts on them are. Speaking of crop tops, I bought a long sleeve white crop. This is white, this is white. Yeah, this is just gonna be a really great basic in my wardrobe. I love my Zara basic crop tops with the short sleeves so much. And when I saw they did white ones, I was like, yeah, that is gonna be a most worn item in my wardrobe. I love the white crop top. I was always going to love the white crop top. It's a really great fit. The arm length is really good. It's actually got really long sleeves, which I love, but you can like roll them up and they roll up really well. The length of the crop is really good. I don't feel like my stomach feels too exposed. It sits at a really nice point with my Zara leather look trousers, which I love. I've just paired them with my Nike. Dunks, these are new, I'm obsessed with them. For the moments when I'm not wearing sparkly heels, I don't have sparkly trainers. But yeah, I love this look. It's really cute, simple, really clean. I wanna find a more, like slightly more smart, casual pair of shoes that work really well with these trousers for like every day, because this would be really cute with like a nice pair of flats that aren't too smart, not too dressy, but just like, maybe like a Gucci loafer without the back. Then we also have a wide leg jean, I believe there's a wide leg, yeah, in a darker tone, which I thought would be perfect for evening wear. I love these, I really like how vintagey they look. They've got the lighter stitching on them and the little like rose gold buttons. So cute. And what I really like is they are high rise as well because I don't quite need low rise back in my life just yet. I mean, I will probably jump on the bandwagon when it comes, but I just love a high rise. What do you prefer? Do you prefer a low rise jean or a high rise jean or a mid? What's your vibe? Okay, so this pair of jeans, we have a couple of problems. The first one, even if I could get these done up, I wouldn't be doing them up because the buttonhole is actually cut way too small for the button and it's almost impossible, just even when the jeans aren't on, to get them off. I can't imagine what it would be like having, like if I actually did these up, I don't think I'd ever be getting out of them. But also, these are the same size as the other pair of jeans and they 
just they aren't going they've got way you can tell it's the dye because i can tell by the feeling of the denim it's got way less like flexibility to it basically i would definitely recommend getting this color in a size up if you want to buy them because i think they will look amazing but there's just way less give and i'm assuming it's because of the dark dye and not just because it's incorrectly made i'm gonna assume it's the dye yeah that's annoying but i will carry on my hump for a cute dark blue pair of wide leg jeans i'm really sad about this okay next we have some great little slightly elevated basics and i just think these are so cute so we've got this jumper it's like a ribbed knit jumper but it's got cut out shoulders and i really like that really like that would i love this in a body yes because then you'd have something like holding it in at the bottom of your body and it would just make the top look so much more like sleek however it is long enough that i think if you tuck it into like jeans or whatever it will just about hold but sometimes zara do them a bit too short and they end up like riding out of your jeans and it's literally the most annoying thing but in a size small it's 22 99 i'm excited to try this on so this top i really like this is basically the ultimate like cute top and jeans kind of top i think it'll go really well with like a pair of black skinny jeans but for now i've just paired it with these trousers which are from river island which i love this is like the ultimate working from home like if you work for like one of those companies that has to do zoom calls all the time and stuff like that this is like one of the ultimate like working from home tops you could be in like a plain black pair of joggers on your bottom half and then it still looks like an outfit when you have to answer the door to your postman instead of going to the door and being in like a cute top on the top and then pajama bottoms on the bottom so it's great for stuff like that it's great for just like every day this is like a great going for lunch brunch dinner kind of top this one will take you from like day to night really easily i think yeah i really like this one i think it's really cool i think it would look just like really cute with a pair of black joggers and trainers if i am working from home and i want to be super comfy but i have a zoom call but yeah like i said also like brunch with the girls date nights this top can pretty much do all of the occasions it's a really good little one. Oh, and before anyone shoots me it's obviously not zoom call appropriate if you work for a really 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 corporate company that says no shoulders out as part of their work dress code this obviously would not work but this top can pretty much do everything else then i have one that's a little bit more nighttime which you might not be able to tell straight away but this top actually has a cutout here so we've got <laughs> there you go we've got a cutout in the chest and it kind of goes across like a choker very 90s but it's a look is it 90s i'm gonna go with 90s i'm pretty sure there's a character in a film that i watched growing up that has a top or a dress on that's like this and i just remember being like wow that is that is the look so living out my childhood dreams i got this in a small and it was 22.99 and this is just gorgeous the only thing i would say is the zip on it is difficult to work with it's kind of difficult to zip and unzip yourself but i did manage it so not completely impossible but part of me is interested to know if any of you have it and if you found the same or if it's just mine and maybe i should get another one the sun has come out for my favorite outfit this top i just absolutely love and paired with the leather look trousers i'm i'm just obsessed and these little trucker heels as well it's just it all works so well together this is the top that i've been looking for for my evening wardrobe it is so perfect just really minimal it's not a lot of fuss going on really at all apart from this collar it's so cute let me know what you guys think because i know that this top might be a little bit hit and miss for people but i personally just love it it's such a simple outfit really easy to throw on i feel so comfortable in it i think this will be the outfit that i wear for my next date night i also have a lot of like dinners kind of being planned in at the moment so this is going to be a great one for things like that as well just general evening where this will be perfect. Oh, I forgot about this one. Guys, comes in cream. Forgot I threw this in my basket. Do I need both? Probably not. But let me know which one you prefer. This one, you could get away with a bit better for daytime, but I also think if you're just a lover of wearing cream, it would be really nice dressed up in the same way. Yeah, I'll show you what that one looks like on as well. I think I'm gonna keep, unless it completely wows me and floors me when I try it on and style it up, I think I'll keep the black one because I think it's got a lot more room to be very versatile and long-standing in my wardrobe. I love this top. It's real like business at the back and then party at the front kind of vibes. I've paired it with blue straight leg jeans and then a pair of black heels just to kind of give you one of my visions for this top. Like you could go black jeans, black shoes, that kind of vibe. But if you wanted to do a nice like spring, summer, smart, casual look with it, 
this would be really cute. I think if you went with all black like jeans and shoes and bag and everything that you could really like make this look a lot more like dressy. But I thought this would be really, really cute with a pair of blue jeans. Just paired it with my Chanel 19 bag and then my shoes are from Topshop. Okay, I have a problem. It also comes in green. So I think the green is really, really nice. If I'm honest, like this is gorgeous. I think I prefer this over the cream. I would probably style this up in the same way. I would style the black one. I think it's still more of like an evening tone. However, I really wish they'd released this in autumn because this would have been such a great autumnal tone. But I love a pine green. I really love a pine green. Yeah, I'll show you that one as well. But like I said, still sticking with, I think the black is gonna be my go-to. And then we have the green top. This one I think was the hardest to style because the others really go with like blue jeans, black jeans. They literally are so versatile, whereas green is just slightly harder to style with a blue jean. Things just look a bit too colorful for me. So I really, oh, the sun has come out. So yeah, I really wasn't sure on a blue jean. I tried it with a few like tailored trousers, just didn't look right. The black like hides a lot of the material rippling and stuff like that. So it looks a lot cleaner. So you can get away with pairing it with like really nice tailored things. Whereas this one, you can sometimes see if the material ripples and then that mixed with like a tailored material just almost looks a bit wrong. So what I did was I paired it with these black skinnies. These are from River Island. They're not my favorite. They hit at a slightly weird point. They're like mid rise not high rise and then i've got my top shop heels on with them which i just love but yeah that is what i decided to go with and then i just think a simple like blazer over the top would really complete the look there we go so just like cute pop of color coming through an all black outfit i think it works really nicely looks very very smart you could also swap the boots out for like a flat boot or a loafer or something of that kind if you wanted to just go with flats i know not everyone loves a heel yeah it's lovely but it's not my favorite of all of the kind of like evening tops but it is very very cute and a really nice option if you prefer color and don't like wearing an all black outfit okay wild card but i've been doing a lot of thinking about my evening wardrobe at the moment and i really realized this is why i have all of those bodies by the way i really realized that i was really lacking in just cute tops for my evening wardrobe and it's something that i realized at the end of last year as well like when we were going out and if i didn't want to wear a dress i was really stuck i basically either had like outfits that were too basic just slightly too basic for the occasion or i just had this one top which was like a black velvety corset top from misguided you guys would have seen it and i literally wore that on repeat throughout december because it was like that or wearing dresses and if i didn't feel like wearing a dress i literally just had that as the one option and it kind of made me realize that my evening wardrobe my wardrobe of like nice tops has definitely been quite neglected i picked this up and this some of you are going to be like absolutely not but hear me out this and a pair of like actual tailored trousers even like a tailored wire leg could be cute tailored like cigarette trouser really cute i think to add a little bit of a juxtaposition to something quite smart this could be very cute is this for everyone maybe not but i thought i'd give it a little go could also be really cute if you have like a body on and then you layer this over the top so the body could be white could be black could be like a real knitted kind of body and then you put this over the top you could wear a shirt underneath it as well I might give the shirt vibe a go you just have to make sure the shirt's not too bulky but it could be really great for just like dressing up what is quite a basic outfit actually if you had a shirt and like the cigarette trousers on and then you were going out after like work that could be really great for just like throwing on over your workwear and like being like it's not work time anymore okay so this is the kind of styling I was talking about where you can wear this kind of top with a shirt underneath if you want kind of a more modest look but i have to say this is not it just doesn't i don't maybe it's the shirt i don't feel like this suits me particularly well the top maybe will look better without the shirt underneath or maybe it is just the top and the top is just a little bit not right but yeah i don't personally don't love this look but i just wanted to show you guys it because i spoke about it and i feel a bit awkward when i talk about styling things and then i don't show you them but personally this is just a bit too much fat for me there's too much going on it's too much shirt wrinkling it's annoying. Update, I think it's actually the top that I don't like. I'm wearing a blazer right now to try and save it, but yeah, I just don't think it's like great quality. I think if it was better quality, this might be different, but it's just really, it's not giving me good vibes. But yeah, I thought I'd still try it to you guys and I'm not like loving it just in case. It's useful to any of you if you were thinking of picking it up and this saves you ordering it and wasting your time and money. I I've got this. This is cute. I think this will be really nice. In the spring, it's like a knitted, top with like a pair of white jeans blazer thrown on the top maybe it actually looks a lot more 
of like a blush pinky tone on the website but it's like a full-on gray in real life which is very different to what i was expecting but actually really cute i just don't know if this color suits me i think it washes me out a little bit but let me know what you guys think so this top is cute but i am just not in love with it there's not really anything special about it especially because of the fact that it isn't the color that i originally had hoped it would be maybe i'm just blind and it was that color on the website but it just really didn't look like it was going to be this gray i just don't love it so that's going to be going back this is what it looks like in case any of you are interested and you really like the color it's very loose so you know size up or size down depending on whether you want it like baggier or tighter or not yeah underwhelmed and then we have one final thing which i need to go and get on my rail because i actually filmed an outfit video with it yesterday some of you may have seen this on instagram already if you don't follow me on instagram you should because you sometimes get sneak peeks of things before they go on here it's just at suzy Benaldi. it's just basically a continuation of everything we do here okay guys i think i found my forever dress this dress i just literally i just thought oh that's cute it could look cute i'll just throw it in my basket and give it a try on see how it is it could be a good addition to my wardrobe this is the dress this is stunning it's actually a play suit i don't know why i call it a dress because it it does look like a dress to be fair but it is absolutely beautiful it's got like a kind of plunge neckline but you can kind of decide that like, you can wear it a bit more like wider on your shoulders to like bring that v up a bit you could also pin it if you were really conscious it's got long sleeves that have a little tiny cuff at the end but it gives you this almost like slight bell effect it's really flattering it's got a little kind of like tie waist that you can cinch in and then it goes into the bottoms actually not the longest so if you're a shorty like me you're going to want to try this one on it is so cute so playful i know that is the thing with play suits is they are a little bit shorter and they do tend to have like the best little drop from the waist and this has all of that but it's just so flattering it really gives me like ysl vibes i've actually owned a ysl play suit and it was very similar so if you're looking for ysl vibes at like a real fraction of the price you need this it's so cute i can't remember how much it costs but i got it in a size small it fits perfectly obsessed with it so yeah that's going to be it for me today i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to let me know which items were your favorites in the comments which items you think i should keep or return i literally only keep the standouts from these videos the things that fit me the best that i feel like are going to be so timeless in my wardrobe it's just so great to get the opportunity to like really try everything on in one go to show you guys what i think of these things how they actually fit what the quality is actually like and hopefully help some of you shop a little bit better as well so i hope you enjoyed watching this one as much as i enjoyed making it and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye